Today we're going to be continuing our Bob's Burger cooking book cooking series where we're going to hammer out the eighth burger in the book. The If Looks Could Kill Burger from Season 2, Episode 7. So I know we discussed having the burger of the day, but I want to say you didn't want that. Where did we land uh, in the end? You seriously don't remember. No, I do. Uh, cheeseburger, just remember. Well, sit back, relax, and let's Bob's Burger this Let's feast. So this recipe calls for a little bit different than what we're used to. It actually asks us to make some orzo pasta to go along with our burger. So we got our diced tomatoes, we got our orzo, which is a small rice looking pasta. And we got some chicken stock, also some rosemary. And so with the burger, we're gonna go with some fresh kale and some cheddar, black truffle, gaier. Unlike my other burgers, this one doesn't really require a lot of prep, so we can just get started with the cooking process. Over to the oven we go. Bring some stock up to boil and mince some fresh rosemary. Don't be afraid to lose yourself in the moment. Embrace it. Once the stock is boiling, you can add your orzo. Give it some good stirs, and when the time is right, add your rosemary and some diced tomatoes. Now that we've got our side dish prepared, we are going to combine olive oil, red wine vinegar into this, and then we're going to brush it onto our kale. Start with the olive oil, a little bit of vinegar, stir that up, and set aside. Get your baking sheet with some parchment paper, and you're going to brush the mixture onto the kale. Make sure to coat every surface, really get in there. After you're done, you'll transfer your kale to the oven and bake for about 10 minutes. Flip them over and then bake for an additional 10 minutes. You want them to be crispy but not burnt. And before we get too consumed with the cooking process of the burger and the kale and everything, I think we should just get our cheese nice and grated. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'll use slices, but the recipe calls for grated uh, cheese, so that's what we're going to do. I stick to the book. Look at this guy. You know, if Bob Belcher wants it this way, Bob Belcher's gonna get it this way, so we're gonna grate this cheese. And I would say this is probably, well, maybe a little more. Now it's time we form our patty using the most delicate of care. Season the cutting board in meat sphere and Rick roll that sexy ball around. Transfer the patty to a high heat pan and watch as the magic unfolds. Take in the sizzle, become one with the grease, call your family and tell them that you love them. It's time to flip the kale as I mentioned earlier on. Back to focusing on the patty, we will cook it a little longer and melt some delicious cheese on top. It makes it a lot easier to do so if you cover it. With the patty cooked, it's time to toast your multi-grain buns. Transfer them into the pan you cooked your burger in. Alright, so everything is good to go. Let's just build this burger and then let's munch on it. Start with the bottom bun. A juicy burger, our kale chips, and then a top bun. You guys hear that? That's a nice sound. Yeah, the burger's done. It's definitely one of the more healthier ones I've tried. I'm a little bit skeptical of the taste. Let's plate this up a little bit. Orzo. First, let's take a bite of the orzo. Simple ingredients, but it's really good. I mean, you really can really taste the rosemary. But the star of the show, let's go for it. The burger. Let's bite into it. Let's see how it tastes. This surprisingly might be my second favorite one I've made so far. It's so simple, right? But it's like the crispiness of the kale, which is like with the vinegar. Mixed with the olive oil, it's just like, it's kind of fatty. 
kind of acidic. Just the combination of flavors and the, and the textures and everything. I think the, the biggest thing here is the textures. It's like perfect, right? I want to give this one 8.75 out of 10. So I'm going to chow down and I'll see you guys next week for uh, burger number nine. Peace.